Okay guys, here's another video and I'm back working on the 76 Nova. Uh, listen, I'm not much ahead of you guys here, okay? All I done was is I installed my fusible link. I got self-tapping screws put into the wheel wall, nice and sturdy. My wires ran, that's all I did here, okay? Not gonna hit use. I just got my wire ready <clears throat> to put on the positive fuse. And the reason why guys is I'm installing this 1600 watt Kenwood amplifier. You heard me right. You heard me right. Now guys, I have a lot more stuff to go along with this, but I'm showing you this right now, okay? So this is a Kenwood class five channel power amplifier and it's a Kenwood Exilion and also so yeah it's <clears throat> so basically guys so it's bridgeable so i'm only plugging in one sub bridgeable okay i'm going to bridge the sub and it's a five channel so i'm going to bridge the sub i bought kimwood door speakers i'm going to show you those and i also bought kimwood 6.9s and i'm going to show you those for the back and i have also tweeters so I'm gonna bridge the sub, and so that's one, then two for the back, and then two for the front. So that's the full five channels being used, okay? Now, some of you guys may say to yourself, well, I don't know about this sub right there like that, but you know what? Guys, that's the way I like it, okay? It's the way I want it. And I think things are going pretty good in here, you know? I think things are going good. I got all the gauges installed now and all working. Now remember guys, this near is stuck on 20 for some silly reason, but it do work. It do work up above 20 and then back down to 20. Uh, and I showed you, I painted the dashboard. I actually did that with engine enamel blue. And there's a sub that this is gonna be powering. I'm gonna install the tweeters in here on both sides of the car. And the door speakers, I'm gonna try my best to get them to go into there on both sides. Now, guys, when it comes to positioning for the amp, uh, <clears throat> I don't wanna run the amp to the back because then I wanna have access to the controls. This amp has a lot of controls on the, other, on the opposite side, which I'll show you in a minute. So I think what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna install the amp right on the side of this box. So guys, here's the amplifier, and it's a high res audio, 1600 watt maximum power. As I said, it's a five channel, and also it has controls for everything. It has minimum, maximum volume, sub input selector, A, B, it has, I mean, this is really cool amplifier. So let me get situated and i'll be right back to you hey, look guys i had a fresh haircut okay fresh haircut fresh you guys know i had this big hole in my dashboard see right here the sub is there stereo is there so i actually bought kenwood uh, um stereo system to install in there and that's going to be my primary stereo system is in right here okay Okay guys, so I'm about to start making connections on this amp, but I'm gonna do something that most YouTubers don't do. I'm gonna, you guys see me all the time. All the time you guys see me in my videos and sometimes I'm looking pretty strange looking, pretty odd looking. Well, you guys don't even realize how odd you guys look. So I'm gonna take a picture and I'm gonna post it up right here and show you guys what you guys look like. Okay, so you guys watch me now take a picture of you. So guys, this is what you guys look like right here. That's what you guys look like. I mean, come on, look at your guys. So. 
don't make fun at me when you guys look at the way you do. You guys kind of look like an alien spaceship in kind of sort of way. Don't know if I should be talking about aliens here right now. Apparently they're around here everywhere. Well, if there's any aliens around, can you please come and give me an hand to get this 76 all nice and working and good? Because it seems like you guys got the best technology. Okay? Okay. So, obviously now, guys, obviously I don't have this one connected to the battery, which you saw earlier. It's just sitting by the battery, so, you know. Please don't be saying, oh, he has a connected battery and stuff like that. I don't want you to say that, okay? Because it's not. It's definitely not. So I'm just going to make a little incision right here. And you're saying, oh, he's using a utility knife. Well, for some reason, my wire snippers won't work on this wire. And am I sad about that? Yeah. Very sad. Very, very sad. But yeah, my, my cool little wire cutters won't cut this wire for some reason it won't do it so I have to do it old school listen old school is the best okay so I'm just gonna slide this over right here like that okay slide this over there like that I'm gonna say that again because it doesn't seem to be working okay now it is okay so that can stay there and we're going to put this one inside of here now guys, I don't know how much you guys are seeing here, but it is what it is. <clears throat> I had to make, you know, uh, uh, a bit linear on the camera so that you guys could see most of all what's happening here. Because so, I can't be moving the camera around and be in here at doing this too. So now I'm going to close this up as best as I can. Now, I know a lot of you guys out there is going to say, oh, look what he's doing. But you know what, guys? I'm going to tell you guys a little secret about me, okay? When I was younger, I used to actually do this for a living. I used to install stereo systems for a living. And that was when I was young. And that was in Toronto, Ontario. I used to do that. And my job was installing stereo systems. And now you guys are saying, but look at what you're doing. You're putting a sub in the front of the car. How does that even make sense? Listen, guys. I don't want the I don't want the bass from the trunk, okay? Because it's for me now it's just too loud and obnoxious. <clears throat> That's why I'm just having the 6.9s in the trunk and I'm having the uh, six and a halfs in the door and the tweeters up on each side with my 10 inch sub. I'm more about listening to old school music and just having that kick, that nice thump. Not the bass as much. I just want that kick and thump and this is what's gonna give it to me, trust me. When I built this box, I there's no ports. So this is an unported box. So that means the air is going to trap inside. So that way it's not going to give me all that bass. I'm going to get enough bass from the six and a halfs and the 6.9s in the back. This is going to give me that kick, that nice. That's what that's going to give me with an unported box and with the size of the box being the way it was. When I built it, I actually put styrofoam inside the box, okay? So there's styrofoam inside this box. Then I spray foamed it. It's a solid box and it's made out of MDF, 5 8 MDF, and it's a good it's a good little box. Excuse me. Okay, so guys, I'm gonna melt this around so that it's nice and safe. I'm gonna burn my fingers off, but that's okay. Who really needs fingers around here? There we go. Now that looks good to me. Nice and sturdy. It's nice and tight. It's up close. So that way I'm not going to ground it out nowhere. So that's good. That's that. Now, for some reason on this kit, which was kind of expensive, this kit I bought, installation kit, they only give me a ground that's that long. That long. So I'm going to have to ground this on metal up there and I'm going to have to but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put its connection on now and the reason why is is because I don't want to mess with it after because I can only put the ground on when the amp gets attached to the side and that's where I'm putting it is on the side of this sub 
That way I got access to the controls and that benefits me perfectly. But on a serious note guys, I'm not interested in the bass anymore. I just want that nice, crisp, good sound. I know it's a little bit unorthodox that the sub is up in the front, but why do why do we all have to do things in the norm like everybody else does? Come up with your own ideas. Do your own things. Don't worry about what other people say. Just do your own things. I think this is going to work perfect for me. And you know what? That's all that matters. If something works for you, then you do it. Don't worry about what other, other people say because people like to talk and that's just the way the world is. I hear an ambulance. There we go. Now we'll put this one on, putting up close. I like to always put them close because that way it can never ground out. Everything is nice and tight to each other. So yeah, back in the day, I used to install amps and stereo systems, uh, man, everything, uh, crossovers, everything, power cells. I did all that back in the day in cars all day long. That was my job. I actually kind of liked it. It was all right. So okay, so I know that my ground is done. So I know my grant is done. That's okay. Now, first, I'm going to connect. Oh, I don't think I took a screwdriver. So first, I'm going to. Well, that's kind of funky, guys. You, you, oh, I see what they did there. That's pretty cool. So this piece just slides out so you can get at the functions. So huh, that's pretty cool, guys. Uh ground power from the battery and that's another thing too guys for the actual power wire to your amplifier use a nice thick wire buy yourself a kit they're not expensive they're pretty cheap right and buy yourself a kit nice thick wire make sure for your ground you're running directly right into your battery for your main live wire because it's your remote wire is what's going to trigger the amp to turn on when you turn your key your ignition in your vehicle. So it's pretty strange to give me this, but they doesn't seem like to go in there. Okay. Huh. Huh. You know, guys, when you forget something, wouldn't you just wish you could go like this and go snap your fingers and you had the tool you want? See, that's how you get your tool back. <laughs> Snap of the fingers. It's magic, guys. It's magic. I'm telling you, that's what it is. It's magic. Make sure you put those connections tight because you don't ever want those falling out, okay? Never. Not in this lifetime you don't want them falling out. But they call it pecan. What it is, it's, it's the blue wire, it's the remote wire that connects to the remote wire of your stereo system. And that is so when you turn your key forward and your stereo is connected up to your ignition, then when you turn the key forward, your stereo turns on, your amplifier turns on. So that way it's not always drawing power. It's a really cool idea that's been for years and years and years. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty decent. 
uh the only thing i know oh yeah see look they even supply and yeah most kits you notice i said blue wire because they're always blue the remote wire that connects to your stereo system is always blue it's always a blue wire because it's just the way they do it and that's this wire right here so this wire will connect to the stereo now guys I'm, I'm going to tell you something now and you guys are all going to get mad at me and yell at me but that one is there okay that one is there but I want something different so I have that big hole in right here um, I'll show it to you you guys get to see this as I'm doing it that's pretty cool on my phone so you guys see that I have that big hole right there right in here I have that big hole okay so guys you guys know I have this big hole in my dashboard see right here the sub is there stereo is there so I actually bought a professional Kenwood uh, um, stereo system to install in there and that's going to be my primary stereo system is in right here okay okay guys look at yourself look at yourself just look at yourselves okay just look at yourselves and you guys are calling me freaky look at you guys okay you guys are aliens and I give her another nip and I like squeeze her a few times because you don't ever want these wires falling out I'm telling you you don't ever want that and this will be its remote wire I know you guys are not seeing up close and personal as I'm doing this but you got I'm explaining everything I'm doing you got your live you got your ground and you got your remote wire remote wire connects up to your stereo system ground obviously is to any metal surface on the vehicle that's grounded to the chassis and your live your big big thick live wire goes directly to your battery on a fusible link you can't just have that stuff running in direct like I'm in a good situation now that I can lay this down actually what you're about to see is me being cautious guys I'm gonna tell you something this amp was very expensive very expensive so when you see me doing stuff like this that's because I don't want it to get hurt you know Okay, now I have to find on my own without any help find a ground so I have to look up in here For a second sorry guys I know you guys can't see this but some things is just too difficult okay so guys for some reason my GoPro got hot for the first time ever. My GoPro actually got hot. Anyways, this is the stereo system I have chosen to go in that opening. Is this Kenwood? And it has everything serious dual phone connection, music mix, Android, remote app that you can just download on your iPhone or Android, whatever. Alexa is built in. Now, on the back, it's iPhone and iPod ready. Nobody uses the iPod anymore, and this is all the other stuff. So that's the stereo system that's going in this dashboard right there. So come on, camera. 
Come on, camera. You better cool yourself off, buddy. Don't be giving none of me. Don't go giving me none of your temperament. All right. So I'm gonna come out and I'm gonna turn you on, and you're gonna turn on, okay? And you're gonna start taking video. Okay, so guys, just for you guys that don't know, this is the bracket. This is the bracket system. Sorry about that. This is the bracket system that goes inside of your dashboard like this and when you insert it in you insert the tabs so you insert it in the slot i just added in there okay so there you go you insert that in the slot like that and it's made to fit because they're all the same size all these openings for these kind of stereo systems are the same size as you can see and then you just push those tabs down and when you push you know let me see if i can't show you guys correctly so you just push these little tabs, oops, push these little tabs down and that's what locks it in place, top, bottom. That's what locks everything in place for your new stereo system. So I'm gonna do that and I'm just gonna slide the stereo in, show you how it's gonna look in there. And I'll get back to you in one second. I'm still waiting for my camera to cool down, guys. It's been a while now and it's still not cooled down yet. First time ever first time ever that that camera has ever done that and it's the gopro 10 keep that in mind guys that's never happened to my seven but it's happening to the 10 and i'll get back to you guys in a second okay so guys quick update the amplifiers all looked up the deck is all hooked up i'll show you all the wires what i've done everything under here in a little while you can see how it is I'm just shrink tubing everything and making sure it's all good. Um, I'm just in the middle now of connecting the sub, doing that. And uh, a lot of work to do here yet before I'm ready to, you know, mount it, make it look nice and all that. Uh, that stereo was hectic to hook up. You're gonna get funkiness now because this phone doesn't like that LED light. You see what's happening? It doesn't like it. So I'll get back to you guys in a bit. But my biggest things are done. And that's the amp. Which is all connected and hooked up. Well guys. It's all finished. I got the speakers installed in the doors. This is the inside of the car. There's the deck. There's the sub. The amp is connected to the box. This is everything as it is. As you can see. It was a lot of work. And I mean a lot of work. And I got the 6.9. Well, I'll show you through the burger window. I got the 6.9 Kim Woods installed. Both of them. They're there. I'll take you around, show you the inside here. There's the amp connected. It's all working real good. Obviously, I can't let you hear music because I'll get copyrighted. Uh, I think it looks pretty cool. I think it's a nice looking unit here now. And everything works nice, everything works good. Can't forget to put my Skull Canadian sticker. So guys, so guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Don't forget to leave me a like over here. Subscribe down right here. And you can always check out my merch. You can always check out my merch. I got hats, I got shirts, I got hoodies, I got all kinds of things. And... Southside Boy Stalls out.